All right, so let's try this out here. Um, everybody, this problem doesn't necessarily have you do like a whole ton of math, but it pretty much has you analyze the features of a situation. Has anybody here ever encountered a problem like that where they have you basically fill in a formula or make an equation or make sense of the situation? Have we had a problem like that before? Cool. And some other ways that it could be given to you, it might sound like this. It might sound like, hey, which of the following equations could be solved to find yeah, they could frame it like that. But long story short, they're pretty much saying, hey, represent the situation that we're giving you with an equation. So here is where you'll find a problem like this. This is going to be an arithmetic reasoning unit six. This is going to be equations, word problems. OK, equations. Word problems. So go ahead and write that down for yourself. Booyah. And so let's go ahead and just see what's going on first thing we're going to do go straight to the question statement and see what it is they're asking me to figure out because honestly if i saw this the first thing you know when i looked at the problem i might be thinking to myself what the heck is going on with more experience you might immediately recognize that you want to represent the situation but we still want to go through that cadence that step-by-step -step process again giving yourself the best chance to handle an unfamiliar situation and so making it this far in this video, I'm going to go ahead and say it's safe to assume that you like the way I teach. And that's the truth for a lot of folks here. So if you want to learn more about my program where you can get all of my practice questions, including 15,000 that will help you succeed with step by step solutions, a lot of them having video solutions, then go ahead and reach out to me. My phone number is 567-698-8867. Go ahead and reach out to me. That way you're not stuck in the same loop that so many people are stuck in with retaking the ASVAB over and over again when the solution to getting a higher score is right here in front of your face. Again, go ahead and text me, ask me about my full program, or click the link in the description to learn more about it. But at the end of the day, sign up, get the score you want, and that job you deserve. So, step one, right here, read the question sentence, and it says, which of the following, all right, which of the following equations correctly relates the total cost of a trip, Y, in dollars, and the number of kilometers driven, X. This is a really, really big piece of information right here. Y represents dollars and X represents the kilometers driven. So I'm going to write that down for you. Basically, we want to pick the equation. And they already tell you that Y equals, again, total cost of the trip, total cost of the trip y in dollars so it's total trip cost and then x is going to be the miles driven so kilometers or excuse me kilometers driven before i continue before i continue yes or no is that the truth we're asked to pick the equation that represents the situation y is the total cost x is the number of kilometers we don't need to you know say whether we're scared at this point or not all i need you to do is just say hey does the question itself what you're trying to figure out make sense and again you, you want to ask yourself these questions again calmly and pragmatically because you want to know what you don't know if that makes sense and you know that we're trying to find the equation that represents the situation good you know what you're looking for now the next question is going to be, okay, do you understand the information that's given to you so you can create the equation? Let's see. Let's read through the info. So step two, let's use blue here to write down the info. A taxi driver charges a flat fee of $10 and $4.50 per kilometer driven. Okay, that seems like uh, two things, two pieces of information were given to us, and that is a fact. So let's break it down into one thing at a time and write down again, one thing at a time. Number one, I see here it says flat fee of $10. And again, we're talking about a taxi, we're talking about this driver and how he makes his money. So I see right there, flat fee. 
equals $10. And then it says in purple, I'm gonna highlight this, $4.50 per kilometer driven. So each kilometer or per kilometer, it says, hey, $4.50. And Damien, great job pointing that out. I want to point that out in the chat box here. Damien says, hey, uh, $4.50 per kilometer is a rate, and that would be M. So before I get into what M means, I want to go ahead and affirm that, yes, that is a rate, but I want to ask everybody here, why is 4.50, $4.50 per kilometer, why is that a rate? How do we know that that's a rate? Thank you, guys. Yep. Flooding the chat box there. Yeah, the word per. The word per is what gives it away. There it is. So if you didn't know, the word per connects two units. Notice how we're talking about money and miles. $4.50 per mile. The word per connects two units and it always, always, always signals a rate. Typically, you look at it as miles per hour, dollars per hour, or dollars per month, right? But in this situation, hey, we're connecting money and miles or distance. It's still going to be a rate. So let me just highlight that there for us. That, yeah, that's going to be a rate. And then here's the next thing I want to point out. The letter M that Damien mentioned. The reason that Damien may have pointed out the letter M is because he may have noticed that this is a linear equation. Everybody, if I look at the answer choices... What do you notice about the form that these problems are in? What's, who recognizes the base formula to all of these answer choices? Who recognizes what it is? Y equals what? What's the base form of the formula? Let's see who knows. Yeah. Y equals MX plus B. Yes or no? Has anybody ever heard of that? Y equals MX plus B. Let's write that down here. That's the form that all of these are in. And so if you have not had a chance to refresh on this in quite some time or you really want to understand the pieces of the puzzle here, let's figure this out. So for those of you who want a quick crash course, here we go. B is what happens in the beginning. This is your initial amount. So I'm going to write that out for you. That's your initial amount. Your M, that's going to be the rate. The reason that it's being attached to the X is because, think about it like this, distance equals rate times time. Typically, that's how it looks with the DRT problem. This is very similar to that, where your rate is always being multiplied by that time variable or your independent variable, whichever we want to call it. But to keep things simple, just know that your rate is always multiplied by the X. MX, M times X, that's what's happening here. So M is your rate, X is typically your time or how long you're going for, and Y is the result after all that time. So here, X and Y are pretty much locked in together. So it's typically time or what happens, you know, the lengths that you're going through and then Y is the result after all that time. So let's write that down for ourselves. That way we can give ourselves that opportunity to see where these pieces in this problem really connect with this formula. So take a second here. I can't type fast enough. Hey, no worries. If you're in the program, you're good. You're gonna have the screen, or you can screenshot this too. I really want to make sure you focus on understanding the gist of what we're going through. So let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see all that. Give you a few moments. And now we're going to get into, again, what these letters might be. And before we continue, let me just go ahead and show this here. Which letters are we only focusing on? Which letters are, do we only care about here? Because it looks like we don't have to find them all. Which ones are the ones that we want to find the values of? Yeah. M and B. Notice that M and B are the only ones here 
that we care about. M and B are the only ones we care about. So let's see what they are. Everyone, what did I say? M is your what? What's that R word again? It's literally right there. M is your what? M is your rate. Sounds good. So M is your rate. That's what we'll do. Let me zoom out just a little bit to still give you the view of everything. Right there. Let's be real, Mahazbat party people. You're enjoying this YouTube video, but why don't you join me for a free class? I host a free class once a week for two hours. So imagine, two hours of free ASVAB math instruction by yours truly, where you get to ask questions, grow with me, raise your score, and get the job you want. So go ahead, click the link here or in the description to sign up for free, and from there, I'll see you in the next class. But until then, let's get back to the math party. All right, so let's try it out here. We have Y equals my rate was what? 450, thank you Shane, thank you Lewis. So we have 450. Then we have the X again, plus, and what was the initial amount? And in this problem, when we think about initial amount, what we're really thinking about, guys, is, hey, is there something that's there from the very beginning? Is there something that's there before everything starts? And yeah, that's going to be 10. It's going to be the $10 flat fee that this taxi driver charges just for someone to get in his taxi. So I hope that makes sense there. That's all he charges just to get in. And then every kilometer, 450, 450, 450. And so there we go. In a nice, easy, and kind of relaxed way. You don't have to include the dollar sign. But this is your formula right there. 450x plus 10. Or, in this case, 4.5 if that answer showed it. But your answer here is B. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.